To all of the viewers at Live Walking NYC, God bless you all. Live Walking. Enjoy, love, and Well, I'm the big cowboy. Good evening. Today is the uh, first day of spring. Doesn't feel like it. Pretty cold. But nevertheless, it is. Congratulations, the spring is here. We're staying at Fifth Avenue and we're going to make a sharp right and explore. Hi Jennifer, Ambrose, Nova Sweetness, Lee, Stephanie. We're going to start in just a second. How's everybody doing? I hope you had a productive weekend and productive Monday and Tuesday. Uh, weekend was busy for us. I'm glad uh, that I was able to cover a couple of things here and there. You know, big things. St. Patrick's Day Parade and in the evening, St. Patrick's Eve celebration, Times Square on Saturday and then on Sunday. <sighs> that was awesome. Uh, half marathon, of course. So... I am, oh, excuse me, Ian. I am. Good, good. How are you? So, what are we gonna do? This is 54th Street. Uh, we go. We will go to 53rd. 53rd is a little more interesting, and we will head west on 53rd Street. Nice classic Fifth Avenue view, but we had plenty of this, so we're going to make a turn. Compared to one bay. Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. You know, it's kind of chilly. It's what, 45 degrees or something? In the morning it was super cold. I don't know what spring they're talking about. Astronomical, yes, but it's definitely still cold. We had a few awesome days and back to kind of like, boom. Not funny. So, it's still early to change the outfits yet because. Today is really winter jacket weather. Yeah, what a beautiful weekend in New York. Thank you for your stream. Made my day. You're so welcome. They're about to leave for the day, but they have falafels, they have uh, chicken and falafel. It's a it's halal truck. They were here all day, serving food all day. This is West East, East 53rd. When we cross 5th Avenue, we'll be on West 53rd. That's the view of 53rd Street. Thank you for the weather. 44, 7 Celsius, wind is a little bit windy. And humidity is 43%. That's MoMA Tower, I mean, it's right near Museum of Modern Art. Only a few years old. And this is a public space, uh, bamboo. Very spacious. People can rest. So a lot of delivery workers and... Uh, and migrants. Chilling. And uh, moving on. Jennifer, hi and why? Hi and why? It is chilly, but skies are clear. They project no rain, so good weather for walking.
plan for some places but snow. Yeah, what do we yeah, we saw that, we saw that. Just wanna make sure we're catching up with the charts. Almost 50 people watching us already. Awesome and thank you so much for your likes, more likes, more people. This is Madison and East 53rd Street. 232 bus is going to Queens. Roosevelt Avenue. And from here we can see Summit. See that blue top? That's Summit. 42nd Street. Christian Hansen. Hi, Christian. And that's Madison going north. Hey Gina, good evening. And you hear waterfall? This is what it looks like. Where are you walking tonight? Uh, we will see. I never have, I mean, I don't want to say never, but when we're walking, we usually zigzagging. Sometimes we get feedback from our viewers if they want to go that way and this way. We'll see what we're going to explore tonight. Hey, Lean. Lean Sanguine. Hi, Al. Hope you're doing well tonight. Doing well, trying to. Thanks so much for saying hi. Now let's go south or north. We have two other options, east and west. Slip the coin. Hey, Adi. Where's Adi? Amber was saying hi to Arias. I don't see Arias in chat, but maybe it's it's my glitchy chat. I guess. Hi, Ari. Our amazing moderators, Ari, Ambrose, and Y, Noble Sweetness. And of course, Austin City Limits. Wait a minute, I don't remember this big construction site last time I was here. It's a consistent, constant change of scenery. Another tower being built. Sometimes they put the poster saying what this is all about, but I guess not yet. Instead, bypass. Here, church bells. Coming from Fifth Avenue somewhere, it's right here. We are on Fifth Avenue. Peter, happy first day of spring, everyone. Spring starts at 11 or 9 p.m. Yes, we're going to celebrate it right now. It's we are going to be live 1109, but let's listen to the bells. Marcus is very broken. Hey, Marcus. Vigo Spain. And Sunshine of Rain. Ian prayers for my family who went here for generations until me. Hi, RJ.
St. Thomas Church, Fifth Avenue. What's the occasion now? This is rare. It's the first time I hear St. Thomas Church like that. And then maybe I'm always somewhere else. Wow, this is so loud. Hey, noble sweetness. Good evening. If I didn't say good evening yet, I probably did. But it's always good to see our man, Raverson Chad. Thomas Church. Is the church open? I'm um, take a look. And why? I don't know. I said the light inside, but I'm gonna pull the door and the door is locked. So very hard to tell. Maybe they have a special service and they close the doors. But you know, the doors are closed. Locked. Yeah, you can tell the locks right there. Jen Bros does my channel. Hi, uh, Belsi. Yes, the doors are massive, massive locks on doors. You can see. So the church is locked. Door. It's on the same, it's on the same side of the street. Angela, good evening.
What should we do? Should we stand a little bit longer and listen to the bells or should we continue walking? Let us know please. Sounds like a horror movie. I guess we will continue walking. What do you think? I think it sounds beautiful. Stay for a bit. Yeah, Saint Joseph Day, also called the Feast of Saint Joseph, uh, or the Solemnity of Saint Joseph, March 19th. Thank you. Wow, that was a, that was a very long piece of music bell bells music that was not a random a music score church of saint joseph and green village open tonight okay i think we were here just in time to enjoy it so subway entrance Fifth Avenue, Fifty Third, and EMF lines, and also the sign saying that they are building tracks on Fifty First Street line. So service changes. Hey Vincent, Peter, see if the twelve foot parabolic light sculpture is lit in its reddish color at the Little Park at Fifth Avenue and Sixty. If that is close by. We are on 53rd and uh, 5th and 60th. We just. Oh, a little parabolic. That's, that's by Central Park, really. Let's see, 12 foot parabolic price sculpture. 5th Avenue and 60th Street. Wow, there's more bells. Yeah, why not? Let's walk towards the 60th Street. We're on 5th Avenue right now, it's not too far. Darren Thomas was calling for his lack of faith. Okay, more on Fifth Avenue. I will go and talk to 60th Street.
Don't forget your likes. The more likes, the more people will enjoy our walks. We have 50 missing likes. Almost 50% deficit. So please take a moment and hit the thumbs up. And thank you also. Feel free to share our channel on the social media with anyone else you want. And subscribe if you need to our channel. Yeah, go, look at this face, look. Wow, what a, what a super driver. Uh, this is bad, bad driving habits, you know. You run the intersection like this hundred times and then see what happens. Statistics, statistics, statistics. I'll say I always give a like, even when watching in silence, of course. Thank you so much. Clayton. Hi, Clayton. We are on 5th Avenue and we're going to... Walk North towards Central Park. Let's take a look at that artwork on 16th Street. Sunshine of Spring, happy first day of spring. Yes, everybody, happy first day of spring. Spring Equinox. Hopefully soon we will have a stable warmer weather. Wow, uh, look at that. This is the University Club, Landmarks of New York, 1899. We cannot say much, but look at the ceiling and look at the interior a little bit, just a little bit. Wow. Wow. Down beautiful nights and lights, Angel had a spring equinox. Say we took Peter's advice today and we're going to 60th Street to see that parabolic artwork. Let's see what happens. Peter, let us know if we if we missed the turn or anything like that. Thank you. Hey Stylish Bonnie. Good evening. Almost 150 people watching us. Thank you so much for your likes and thank you so much for working with us from the comfort of your own homes. Yeah, that's selling. That's selling. 1899. This is first time. Fifth Avenue Presbyterian Church. Hey, Roy, good to see you. How's it going? Peter Fred Eversley is the artist responsible for the parabolic light. He is from Brooklyn, born in 1941. Thank you, thank you, Peter. Let's just hope we'll find it. Fifth and sixtieth, right? This is fifth and fifty-six. We are a few blocks away. Boy, all is well. well. Thank you, friends. How are you? Chilling, doing well, hopefully, streaming here and there. 
Glad you're doing the same. Always awesome. On the other side of uh, the continent. On the west side. Royce from San Francisco. Check him out occasionally. Check out his channel. Awesome channel. Seriously. You should. Michael has done it. Happy first day of spring. Hi Michael, same to you. 170 people, awesome. We're having a good walk, I hope. And uh, we're approaching slowly. 60th Street, this is West 57 and 5th Avenue. What did we miss? We missed Trump Tower, right here. Tiffany, right here, and Louis Vuitton cross street, right there. What happened to the decoration? No decoration used, but not right now. Usually they decorate this whole building with something. professional photographer is going on right there. On Claire from Arthos. That's a, that's a sophisticated department store. Ooh, so shiny. I guess they're keeping their displays open to, to photograph because they usually don't. Or maybe they just closed. Perhaps that's why. They're just redoing the displays. Sunshine, cute Peter. That pebble applied is the Joyous Freedom Plaza, which should be at the intersection I mentioned. Okie dokie. Stylish and love on Stephen and Arcos. Michael no sweetness, Audi, great evening to you. And this is uh, Bergdorf Goodman windows. Bergdorf Goodman. Always artsy and sophisticated. Val Valentino. Valentino. Audi, please give less, uh, give Al a like. Thank you. That's big enough to fit any size of a cell phone in it. That's practical. Devon, Devon Avery, good evening to you too. Stylish summer clothes are coming out. Laura Lamb, hi Laura Lamb. I see they all the design stores. Look at the props between, I mean, on the sides of this window. It's like a dinosaur. Uh, no, I don't even know this is. Perhaps, perhaps bone structure? I don't know. What? Mermaids. Yeah, those were mermaids. Daryl. Hey, Daryl. Good to see you. Where I live, I'm so excited for the spring. More bones, or let's just say fossils. David, I'm just joining in. What, what's on the agenda for the evening? Uh, browsing, browsing here and there, looking for something new, something cool. I don't know why they decided to go with bones and skeletons, but that is what's supposed to be a pelican skeleton, I guess. 
today is first day of spring. First, we heard the bell, the church bell rings, bells ring, and uh, that was somewhat the beginning of the horror movie. Now we see the bones. What we're gonna see next? And why LOL? That's strange. That is when someone is running out of ideas but then again who knows maybe this is something that's you know fashionable right now oh this is a totally different uh, totally different uh, concept about. Very jazzy, yep. That should look like someone is working on sculpture and didn't finish, yep. <laughs> Xavier, hey, do say that's exactly what I was thinking. They're running out of ideas. But then again, around Christmas, toward the fall day, uh, making sure this windows look like something totally totally unique and why i love springtime but my nose and eyes don't agree with me david banger me hi dave peter you have to be thin to wear those those that's that's true but that wouldn't fit me for sure maybe they would i don't know all the buttons would pop out I'm talking about oh I'm sorry this is not even man stuff whoopsie daisy I knew I was gonna screw up something they'll see yes it's true Laura yes and why the pollen will start up soon for sure I'm with you well this is kind of cool but look at this keyboard this is the longest piano in the world the widest piano in the world first of all we'll look up and then look it starts here and it goes the regular piano is pretty much like this that's it but this one i mean it's not a real one of course this one is establish l wants to fit into that dress no we're not going to go in that direction. I just made an honest mistake. ADC322, Daryl Hope. Delilah doesn't want to go shopping for new clothes. Why not? Why not? Anything for Delilah. Anything. Happy wife, happy life, right? By the way, the dress by Oscar de la Renta and uh, Manolo Blahnik, oh boy, and Vendetta Bruzzi. I don't even know how to say it. Anyways, I'll just show it to you. A little sprinkle of Versace, Gucci, and Kenshire. Yeah. Definitely not shopping for this. But we're going to 60th Street, which is right over there, two blocks up. That means more streaming now. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Spanish designers, they'll see. Dress design looks old. Or maybe they're returning the old styles because this is what they do, I guess, in the world of fashion. Occasionally, like every 20, 30 years or something. 
because the, now they're running out of ideas. Running out of ideas. He says the Pulitzer fountain still waterless. OT, what's up? Welcome everyone, don't forget your likes. Thank you so much for working with us today. And always, if you're new to our channel, I hope you like what you see, what you watch, and I hope you subscribed already. If you and this is the Plaza Hotel. Salish, I did wear Samari designers back in 2024. Okay, Samari, so what, every 50, 50 years, 55? Austin, good to see you. Good evening, Austin. Say the name is now. We have the full team. Everyone is here. Austin, say the name is and why Ambrose, Audi, and Noble Sweetness. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so this is what 59th Street. <laughs> Bit on YPD for you. Huh? And we're approaching 60th Street on Fifth mm -hmm. Avenue. Or more house, yep. So this is 60th and 5th Avenue, let's see. I see an artwork, but it, maybe that is. So this is what we see, and it's not illuminated. Looks like a lipstick tube, it looks like an upside down icicle. What else it looks like? Buffering a bit, yep. I hope it's not buffering now. Stella. What is this? This is uh, a work by Fred Eversley and it's called para parabol Parabolic a Parabolic Parabolic blah, Parabolic Light. Illuminate from Demolition Man. A lollipop. Color is nice. Crystal, yep, absolutely. Wow, There's so many different associations, and uh, this is awesome when something can look like so many different things. Scott Briggs, hi Scott. They all say par parabolic has to do with light. Well, I thought it was more about the shape, right? Right, but. It's kind of, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like that, yeah, parabolic, exactly, but, but light is, um, you know, maybe, maybe it's the, what we see through, because we kind of see a bunch of lights through it, and it's kind of awesome. Basically, what the cars, car lights and traffic lights, you can, you can tell, we see them, but there's no... It's not a sharp image, but it's really cool, especially when a lot of people walking by, like you see them through the glass, and this is kind of interesting. 
alien tech, like now, for example. Thank you, Peter. Good idea. So the light has nothing to do with being illuminated. It is, I guess, the light that's going through this material is what is it all about. How about a Tootsie Pop? Or am I Yes, I think I'll see. Oh, that's what I thought, yes. Peter, thanks for humoring me as I was curious what it looked like as I read about it in the magazine. Yes. Roy or my audio, yes, that is, uh, you can write um, a massive article about it, you know how? You just give it to chat GPT, GPT, chat GPT, GPT, chat GPT, or you can give it to Germany, Google's thing, you can give it to a lot of different applications, and you say, write me, a, I don't know, 3,000 words article about this and uh, five seconds later you just have to copy and paste well maybe you want to read proof it but other than that is it Angela it's interesting to look at yeah Superman 1, 2 and 3 are encoded to the crystal movies from Krypton in Metropolis. Hi Kirk, good evening. They'll see very creative, great art. Yeah, and we're looking at different uh, angles. We're about to be done looking at different angles, but one more time. With Plaza Hotel in the, to the right and Free Family to the left. Laura Lamb, it's Alien Beacon, LOL, they are going to land right there. Well, you never know, if not the beacon, maybe antenna. Peter, I probably is a U shaped curve, so I guess the buildings light, the building lights wrap around it as a U shape. I thought it's more about the top, the shape, the top shape of this. Look, it is parabolic if you think about it. Top to bottom, right there. Oh, now we see the building through it. Interesting. Sounds about a simultaneously reflective and transparent. Reflective. That's so true. A luminescent parabolic form, a tapered cylinder, will serve as a focal point of serenity, trans transcendence, and the exploration of new dimensions and perspective. Hey, John R., good to see you. How's it going? How's your sister doing? Stargate, Royal and Peter, thanks again for showing it to us. Of course, you're welcome. Thank you for giving us a good idea. Always, always good to check check out something if we if it's within our you know radius. Christian, if somebody if somebody put a top hat at the point, that would be like the cherry on top. Or I'll step through it. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't. I don't want to get through the matrix, matrix into different matrix. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't trust these alien things. You know. It is super alien. Like the more we look at it, the more alien stuff is coming to mind. So. Enough is enough, let's get out of here before it's too late. So she might end up in a different dimension. Nah, I don't want to do that. Or I'm ha, no, don't do it. I'll be lucky here. That's what I was thinking. Who's going to stream them? Huh? What am I going to do? I'm not going anywhere far. I'm okay with this dimension.
I mean, enough, enough, enough changing dimensions for for a very long time. I hope the dimension that will in now in New York City will not change too much, because the way it's going, seriously speaking, it is going. It's changing to a different different dimension, slowly but surely, and this is not a good change sometimes. That's Central Park South and Fifth Avenue. And the moon in the sky. And my favorite spot to jump dimensions is literally Washington Square Park. Oh, I know what you mean. I think, but I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna say anything. It's kids friendly so I'll just say we're well, not gonna give anyone a bad idea it is interesting that uh, that an 80 year old came up with that concept for a sculpture Yeah, I grew up in that park in 1970s. You're guessing correctly. Ah, boy. Such a vibrant spot. Washington Square Park. Too vibrant. Sometimes get so packed. You just walk nearby or try to walk through the park when it gets so packed. Like after the parades around the area, for example, and uh, you go through, you, you, you go, to, you, you jump, you, what is it? You switch, you shift to a different direction because you just go through the cloud and then you, you're like, whoa. And that's all good. That's what makes New York, New York. Now we're in Central Park South. It's Plaza Hotel and Central Park South. Three Avenue blocks along Central Park, Central Park Southern border edge. Central Park, which is awesome, but it's not totally recommended to browse Central Park after dark, just in case, because, you know, it gets a little sketchy at night. John R., happy first day of spring, everyone, same to you. Kirk is Washington Square Park and Bryant Park near each other. No, they are, they're not on, kind of on the same avenue, but kind of not, almost. But more importantly, Washington Square Park is around, let's say, roughly, what was Street, eight, like 4th Street, 8th Street. It, the streets there is a little weird, but... Bryant Park is on 42nd Street, so give or take, it's about 40 blocks or so, and so it's about two miles apart, approximately. Totally different areas. Columbus Circle is right there with two towers. You know, it's amazing. Uh, 
in place of uh, Columbus Circle's mall and those two towers between 1956 and 2000 there was uh, an exhibition slash convention slash uh, hotel center and uh, it was pretty pretty busy until they opened Jacob Javits Center in uh, if I'm not mistaken 1982 and then that place became you know less busy so to speak then it was a totally different neighborhood around it um, so basically long story short they demolished that in 2000, in 2000 when they started building Columbus Circle as we know it right now and uh, you know now it looks like a circle more more than before and so it has this two towers and two two beautiful buildings that everybody knows what it is like if you ask who remembers the old columbus circle not too many people Peter Central Park isn't as dangerous as it was years ago these days. I have uh, walked across it with a gang of friends years ago, but not recently. Well, you have to walk with a gang for sure, just in case. But it depends where you are. Look, if you're here near the exits, that's nothing. But if you go into the woods, I don't know why would you do that. Like in the rumble or somewhere there around the castle Belvedere castle or deeper into the park that would be too it won't be comfortable if you're just walking there especially by yourself or if you want to have a romantic date these days I would not I would not recommend browsing around Central Park after dark just in case but then again you never know right but just to lower the chances and the areas will and where we play the Warriors, two teams run across the park, midnight, 1980s, they'll see here, is, here in the chalet we are, in autumn since 1st of March, but still feels like summer, yes, southern hemisphere, autumn, yep, and northern hemisphere is spring, so so interesting how it's all created by whoever created it. So we are in Central Park South. A lot of police cars there, which is good. But look at the surface here. See how uneven it. I guess the roots, the trees. It's not everywhere, but here, in this spot. Or I am the Patches Needle is next to the Met Museum up north. Yep. They're still hoping to get clients, customers at this hour. Poor lonely horse. 
Time to go home. John R. had a boiled egg in a can of tuna. What happened, John? Are you on a diet? Just, just don't feel like eating a lot of food, right? Sometimes. This is six time, isn't it? If I'm not mistaken, well, I lost, I lost track of this avenue. So it's only six, seven, seven. This seven, seven. Sorry, my bad. Seven, seven. And next one is Broadway and the Columbus Circle. How about we walk down seven for a little bit? So this trailer they used for you know when they shoot in the movie, it's like a portable home, portable house. They use it for all kinds of things, movie related, you know. Actors are uh, located here in between the sets, you know, so they can spend time throughout the day and other things and, you know, outfits and all that stuff. It's one of the companies that, major company that works with the movie sets, my gods. You know, anywhere they shoot in the major movie or not so major, sometimes you see them. <laughs> Over 200 people walking with us right now. Thank you so much and welcome to our live walking at YC. I don't know, is the trailer a good, uh, a proper way to set it? No, it's a mobile home with the doors. So it has one, two, three, four, five different rooms. Yeah, grilled baby octopus, orzo, sun-dried tomatoes, peanut cheese, calamari olives, plus the lemon, peanut bread, $29. Sounds, sounds delicious. Scott at once almost worked at Tavern on the Green. They wanted a, I want a photograph, photographer to take pictures of guests, etc. I was considering it, but you need top notch customer service skills to be to, to take photographs. Interesting. Stylish, I ordered Thai food for dinner. I feel like a link pink next to John John's mail. Yeah, and it sounds like a place you pay them a hundred dollars, then take photos of art food. You get photos, you don't eat it. Ah. <laughs> and why welcome everyone who's watching but not chatting. We're glad to have you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Thank you. And this is $75 steak. I won't read more. <laughs> $75 steak, that's nothing. Yeah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Angela, I ate a small pizza and a piece of red velvet cake with a bottle of water for, for supper. So is that was autocratic typo. Ah. Audi, we need more likes, please, and thank you. Cupboards, doing all my cat and dog dinners. Drivers to be picked up overnight or early in the morning. That's why it's here because they have specific days for the specific type of garbage to be picked up. We are on 7th Avenue, it's windy. All this food talk makes me a little hungry too. 
Ambrose thought bins with covers were now required. You know what? I don't really see any bins. Like, not specifically for, for this type of garbage, but you know. It's like pizzerias that's supposed to, you know, change the way they pollute the air. But I agree with Delilah on this thing. Uh, how is it gonna taste if they change the way they make pizza? Because this smokiness that, you know, this is this is what makes New York pizza New York pizza. What are we gonna eat cardboards now? I want that's a lot of garbage. Yeah, what's that building? This one? Time to go home. This building is Alvin's Court. Alvin's Court. 180 West 58th Street. And at the same time it says 911. I'm not sure, but on the side it says 180 West 58th Street. Oh, I got it. It's 180 West 58th Street. At the same time, it's 911 7th Avenue. It is a gorgeous building, really. Such, so much of the artwork, so detailed from top to bottom. Poor Dirt Farmer. Hey from Florida. Hi, Poor Dirt Farmer. Thank you for saying hi. It was good to see you. Laura Lamb, God bless and watch his sanitation. Almond's Court, 180 West 50 is uh, Alvin's. It's A, um, I'm reading uh, A L W Y N. Alvin. But it's 180 West 50 Street, yes. Dinesh, hello from Guyana, South America. Hey, Dinesh Derek, good to see you. Thank you for saying hi. Going on in Newcastle, same temperatures in New York. Uh, wind is lower and humidity is always high. Hey Daisy, good evening. 7th Avenue and West 58th Street. So, let's see what's going on here. Years ago, years ago, there was a, a Greek diner, Greek diner. Then it was uh, something else diner. Then it closed recently and looks like it's reopened now under the name centralparkcafe.com. DJ Carnies. DJ Carnies. Oh, look, Jameson. Now we all know all about Jameson right now. OT, do you guys want to know real food? is smoked salmon with garlic and herb. Mashed potato with peas and couscous with blood orange juice served with red velvet cheesecake mmm wait you just instantly made me hungry you know that OT like instantly before I finish reading this this is Carnegie Diner and Cafe highly recommended for everyone who's visiting New York City except a few days before Christmas or let's just say two weeks before Christmas when tourists like Invaded, and this is turning into a madhouse. Molly, living life. Irma, go to sleep. Thank you for the walk and see you. Thank you so much, Irma. Have a good night. We will see you next time. It's not even packed, it's normal. Peter, Joseph, I would like to see that 6 and a half Avenue as well. It sounds interesting. 
yeah we've been there we've been there and we'll be there again this is interesting because you can cross between 6th and 7th avenue within the four or five blocks five blocks i think the vicinity or the radius so you don't have to walk the complete block to cross the street it is it, it has its charm and it's pretty unique too and it's funny how they call it six and a half avenue this is Carnegie Hall still under construction, renovation. That's why they they put all these fake windows uh, on the material. They wrapped the whole building around, so they're doing work inside. Carnegie Hall looks gorgeous when they eventually take it out. I don't know when, but it's about time. It's been like this for at least two years. Interesting, my grandmother's name is Dolly Moran. Uh, and why, but not Irma Scott, Molly, Molly Dorn, one scene. Uh, or several were filmed right here in 58 or 57 with Arab work, Columbus or Columbus. Hey, Molly. Good evening. Deli and Cafe, Trattoria dell'Arte, that's Italian restaurant, apparently. I see people eating spaghetti and something else. Uh, let them be, 888 Cafe and Bar. Lunch, dinner and breakfast, it looks like, oh, maybe I'm wrong, overpriced diner or is it a restaurant? No, it's more like a restaurant, live music, not in diner. It's definitely not a diner. When you have classic New England clubs, they're all for 42 bucks. And uh, Black Label Cheeseburger for 27. This is... Uh, bougie. But they have customers inside, so there are, uh, there are clients. Uh, there is a client out for that, too. Be strong, Scott. Yeah, and same process as Tavern on the Green, actually. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm trying to remember that manual, yeah. Right. Except for Tavern on the Green is, you know, the scenery, the ambience. Even though that one, wow, that looks pretty cool. Too. Let me change the music because they're playing something. But let's let's be a little no nosy for a moment. back that that place looks decent wow a Manhattan Club is this a hotel it looks like a hotel Yeah, it is definitely a hotel. It's a reception there. It's called John. It's New York City tradition and Long Island to get a hunger band here. 
with like four ounce cheese ham sausage. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and I sent $20 martinis at this bar, if not more, if not more. Laura, I'm having falafel. Okay, normal food, enjoy, enjoy. Nancy Franklin, building is amazing. I'm Nancy. <laughs> All at BYOB. <laughs> Bring your own booze. Yeah, and tired. Exact, tired exacts never get to the bar, room service. That's Carnegie Hall, but not as beautiful as it's supposed to look because see that stuff that is covering the whole building from the outside. And scaffolding. So all that, when whenever it goes down, comes down. It's Park Central Hotel. Isn't it, isn't it the same hotel? No, it's like two, two same building almost, but not really. Oh, that's airline. Some, some airline. Cool. Tired. Could be Lufthansa, but I'm not sure hundred percent. I was trying to read the. Uh, uniform but but they have these logos and if I'm not mistaken maybe maybe I am mistaken I don't fly too much so I guess and uh, guys be careful you're going to make no hungry with all this food so too late for that hey Brian good to see you good evening Molly, practice breathing. Start to buy a bacon, egg, and bacon, egg, and cheese. Yep, yeah, all in one word. Lots of bacon, lots of egg, and lots of cheese. I totally got the Carnegie Hall joke. Parents were musicians. I've heard most of the really funny jokes. Alright. Let's see how she's gonna process me. Or oh, she's gonna process me in front of her car. Alright. Successfully. Okay, good, good, good. Last night, get home safe. Yeah, we used to do diners in Times Square all hours. All hours. 220, almost 230 people are here. Thank you for being here and enjoying our walk from the comfort of your own homes. Peter I had lamb chop and mango chutney tonight for supper along with green peas. Awesome. I like how everyone in our chat eating well delicious and sophisticated meals. Good job. Now it's my turn. I have to <laughs> stop thinking about food for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Noble Sweetness, welcome everyone. Don't forget to like. Yeah, well, I used to force myself to get home by 3 a.m. Oh, with makeup in Brooklyn at 6. John, uh, no one why poor El is probably hungry and we're making him hungry. I started this, so it's all my fault. Nancy, you know the city well? El, I try, I try. And Big Apple, it says food again. Laura Lamb, Kamali. A lot of my own personal history is found into these streets. So many memories. 
And I like the West Side Diners, all gone now. Yeah. Hey, J. Chulo, good evening. Why? Why this lights are so delayed? Uh, finally, Brace Pizza is there across the street. Roxy, delicatessen restaurants. And, and for the most part, pretty empty. Good, good, good interior. Pretty, pretty clean, spacious, but not crowded. Where I went to high school in Manhattan, live in Brooklyn, worked in Manhattan several years. If these streets could talk. Wow, oh, interesting how history has moved on. This is 51st Street. I smell halal food, halal food is right there. And this is the other corner for halal guys. They have two over there at 6th Avenue and one here at 7th Avenue. I just wish they had more people in line because when they don't have people in line, I don't know, this poor chicken is, you know, sitting there for so long. Molly, let us not forget that the folks have been robbed of their dignity. Laura, I love this city so much. Appreciate you. I appreciate all you do. You're welcome, Laura. Thank you so much for enjoying and for your good words. I don't know what they put in this sauce, but it smells so good. But it's pretty much done for tonight this particular location I guess and there we are but here we are again hope 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 let's just hope Nancy how much is for a street vendor hot dog you know what I don't even know but I would imagine three four dollars probably these days Two, two, three, four, but I would say three, four, especially in these areas. But you can get a big platter of halal food for 10, 11, I guess, 11 the charge now for the halal guys. But that's big, it's real, real big. You can feed two people, or if you don't eat much, even three. That other corner is playing loudly playing music, so I'm going to block them because or blur them because they are hurting my stream. Not gonna help. And we had a Times Square hotel. The air quality around here is not good. Hey Darlene, good to see you, good evening.
Essa da C eu achei legal. É a C. C, they running, I don't want to run like that. I don't want to walk. Or maybe now I can. Yeah, now I can. Daisy, thanks for letting us know, John. I was going to ask about her. Tell her I said hi. Trying to catch up with uh, the child, John. Joyce wanted to say hi to everyone, but she's really tired tonight. We're saying hi to Joyce. Madison Treasures, one of the antique stores, an art art store, antique store. There are several like this in Manhattan. The huge, 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 and they really, really, really looking like a museum. This is just a facade, just a window. If you ever go inside, you'll be like, wow. They smell poison with mask. You wish that way? Wear a mask. Austin, there is no poison. Alright, we're heading south. South, see the lights. We're heading into Times Square area. Why not? Why not? We'll walk through Times Square before we're done. This is Seventh Avenue on West Fifty First Street. picking up it's getting colder it's the back of winter garden theater Blade Runner. Barclays. It's back to the future, huh? I don't know. If you want to see Back to the Future, I would, I would watch the movie again. These are the last hours of winter. Well said, Daisy. It's. 9 o'clock, 8.59, so two and a half hours or so and we will officially be in spring. Gonna wake up tomorrow, it's gonna be spring. Maybe even before we go to bed, it's gonna be spring. Uh, we have Times Square directly ahead of us and uh, that's the ball right there and the, mu and the numerals right up there in the middle. It's still snowing around the country, yes, the weather is, you know. Even, even in New York is pretty cold. 
doesn't really feel like extreme at all. Tulips are going to bloom soon. Nancy. Lord, I need warm weather, even if it's even if it means pollen. What is this colorful store? Oh yes, <laughs> dispensary. Alright, the time square madness is happening. Crowded and everyone is walking in random directions and, and some crowds here and here and we are basically basically a block away. Two blocks away. And technically it is time square. M&M store is still open. This is Max Brenner chocolates. Renaissance Hotel. Street always amazed me. It's more like a steam because it's an excessive steam. Too much steam is going through the pipes underneath. <laughs> West 47 and 7. Times Square is right here. Welcome to Times Square. Walk through Times Square a little bit. Over here on Saturday nights for Pat, uh, St. Pat's Eve celebration. If you didn't see that video, you probably should uh, take a look because it had a few interesting moments in there. Lots of music. I'm glad YouTube left left that video alive, so to speak. Blocked all the music and made it, you know. Just watchable, but no, you know, nothing else. But that's good because it's still, if, if, if they send me an email saying that it's blocked in one territory and cannot be monetized, but other than that, the video is still there. Unless maybe a little bit later they will find something that will block it. Who knows what they are up to? They, they AI works flawlessly. Alright, so that's a mix of sound, noise, and everything else in between.
I read up the news for a moment. Live in Times Square, we stream it live and we welcome all of you to our walks. Thank you so much for being here. If you're watching us quietly, thank you so much for watching. If you want to say hi in chat, you're always welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I knew we would find something of the third dimension. Did you see that alien right there on top? There was the bones, there was something else, and now it's an alien. Oh no, the Stella, yes. The para parabolic sculpture, the bones, and now the alien was up there. Now our walk is complete. That was right there on that display. Maybe I'll see it again. Let me just give it a few seconds. It's right there. If I see it, I'll, I'll show you. If it appears again. That's going to hide from me. So that just for a second, but it was there, it was there. Hey, Karina. Okay. Hey, do you guys like comedy? Oh, guys, let's have a comedy show. I think we're having a good walk today. It's been one hour and 36 minutes. Wow. So many people walking with us today. Thank you so much, each and every one. If you didn't give us a like yet. Give us a like if you did. Thank you. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. 
This way we'll get notifications when we're live and posting videos again. We want to thank you all for working with us tonight. And as we always say, we will see you later. We will see you sooner rather than later, of course. Thank you each and every one of you for making our walk a part of your day, a part of your night, or a part of your late night or early morning. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your likes. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all of your support in the past in the future and today thank you so much Austin yes nice interest to look tonight thank you so much Austin thank you so much for uh, watching and uh, what did just happen man? someone on the bicycle decided to just step in the middle of the street Stay happy, stay healthy as much as you can, take a good care of yourselves and your loved ones. And uh, try not to get sick, and if you have a flu, get well sooner rather than later. We will see you soon again. Until then, have a fantastic rest of the day or the beginning of a new one. Good night, everyone.